Okay guys, this is just insane. So once again, I was browsing Reddit when I see that a DM actually drugged his players. This... You can't make this stuff up. We've all seen some crappy DMs around, but this one really takes the cake. Anyways, I'm not even going to try to describe this, so roll post. So, I am a player in a fantasy LARP group in Germany. You can imagine it being similar to a regular D&D campaign, but with the players actually role-playing the heroes in real life, with real assets, real locations, and real quests. Because we don't have many friends or actors who could role-play NPCs, the role is set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. The DM is the mind behind it all and prepares the locations with quest items, moody lighting, decoration, and lore, and sometimes other things. Our current DM has been around for half a year at this point and had integrated quite nicely by now. His sessions were re always really exciting and played with our emotions and real-life motivations. I recall one time where we didn't have a choice between jump jumping down into a pit of weird, disgusting-looking fluid and we didn't recognize it, or sacrificing the quest item to escape, and it was super stressful and amazing at suspending our disbelief. Turns out, the liquid was actually just a bunch of expired dough from the local mill that would have otherwise been thrown into the trash. In general, he was the best DM we ever had. This session, we were about to enter the dungeon slash lair of a mad necromancing imperial soldier, but the backstory is more or less important for the story today. The session was about to take place in an abandoned medieval tower in a forest in southern Germany, and the DM spent the last two weeks setting up the entire thing and preparing a wonderful session for us all. The party rented a small bus for the trip and got all excited for the session, constructing all kinds of theories about how the plot would advance or how the location would look. When we arrived, it looked wonderful. The tower was decorated immersively, and the DM even hung up real burning torches for lighting. We explored the tower, and we were amazed he had really outclassed himself again, with cleverly hidden speakers playing creepy sounds, working with really pretty lighting to convey visual illusions, and even made a mechanical mimic out of a box to scare the crap out of us when we tried to open it. Now for the actual scandal. Over the course of the adventure, our party found out how the necromancer is invincible because he constantly flips between the real world and the world of the dead. It makes sense in the game and would just switch to the realm of the dead whenever we tried to hit him. We did, however, think of a way to hurt him, that being a potion of flipping to the world of the dead hidden in the tower, and I think you know where this is going. We indeed found the potion and entered the boss battle. It was intense and wonderfully crafted, with epic fantasy battle music blasting in the background and us needing to do real moves to injure the necromancer. When he flipped into the realm of the dead, we obviously needed to drink the potion to follow him. Now, the fun begins. We thought the DM was just going to flip a switch to switch music and lighting to signify us being in the world of the dead. We thought he would work with clever tricks to create illusions, and we didn't think the potion was actually laced with a heavy dose of instant knockout pills so the DM could pull us into a specially prepared boss battle room, because that was a disaster. One of us, a female rogue, hit her head on the floor when she suddenly fainted about half a minute later. Turns out she has a condition where these types of pills are dangerous. While the other party members try to pause the game and go out of character to care for our injured friend, the DM refuses, blasted, and stressed with medieval battle music. Having a friend actually faint out of character, the three re remaining people, including me, began to panic. But our consciousnesses were almost instantly modified but in a way that I can only compare to strong weed strains. You lose the perception of time, you can only stare at one spot and forget the rest of the world, and it really feels like pushing movies in front of your field of vision, instead of actually living in the moment. After a few minutes of trying to stop this situation, me and the other two players fell asleep on the floor. If that wasn't enough, the DM tries to continue playing, drags us to the boss room, and waits patiently until we wake up again, after which we all obviously confront the DM out of character. A heated argument ensues, over which our 6 foot one barbarian actually punches the DM in the face and then calls the cop- but then, the DM calls the cops on us for assault. The cops arrive, we tell the story, they arrest him for assault, destruction of public property, and trespassing. That way, he ruined it not only our session and drugged us against our will, but also ensured we would never be able to play in this area again. TLDR, LARP DMs, drugs us four players with psychedelic knockout pills, one suffers a head injury, DM calls the cops, is arrested himself, ruins everything, and then badmouths the rest of us. End story. Wow. Just... Wow, whoa, I, I have no words for this. Not only does he drug the group, but in the face of very justified anger, he actually calls, he has the audacity to call the police on them. Man, like, this is the part where I make a DM's 
Ben's DMing rule that would be totally... Re- I'm, I'm going off the script here. But this is like the part where I'd make a Ben's DMing rule that would be relatable or at all resonate with DMs otherwise, other, in other places, but... I mean... Like, okay, here it goes. Ben's DMing rule number two. Don't drug your players. I didn't think I'd have to say it, but yet here I am. Anyways, I can't... I'm, I'm going to be off Reddit for a few days. I can't do this anymore. Um. <laughs> anyways, thank you for watching. And if you want to help me out at all, please leave me a like. And, you know, hey, if you want to see more of my videos, then by all means, please subscribe for more videos. Um. Till next time. <laughs>